was going to be the small Vente CC 67. So it's like 56, 5, 6, 6, 7. My modern. Hopefully this 102, 120mm gun is not good. Otherwise, I can't show you that. Alright. Full gun. First, 105mm. This is exactly the same as the previous gun. Top gun that we just used. And it's kind of horrible for me, in my opinion. For tier 7 tank. Now you're a tier 8. And you have to use this gun as a stock gun. It's going to be a horrible stock grind. So, free experience out of this gun as fast as possible is going to be the best thing you can do. The next gun, still keep that 320 alpha. But your penetration is now better. I'm not going to say good. Because the array, that penetration... For tank destroyer, it's just meh. Even for heavy tank, it's still meh. So you just upgrade that penetration. So not that much uh, has changed. And then the next one, another one of 5mm. You still keep that 320 alpha. But now uh, you get a decent penetration. Right, 220, standard, 242 premium. I mean, that's not that much of a difference, but well... It's an upgrade anyway. Still 3 show in the magazine. Still 7 seconds in the cliff reload. Your whole cliff reload is a little bit faster. Your DPM is a little bit higher. And because of that, your accuracy is the same. Your aim time is just tiny little bit better. And then you can equip with the 102 mm Sorry. Not 102. 102 is a basalt token. Uh, 120 millimeter. That do 400 alpha. A little bit better standard penetration but way better premium for i guess it's heat yes and then still three rounds still seven seconds in the clip reload 25 second a whole clip reload the dpm is even higher you have to get this gun you have to get the 120 millimeter gun oh no oh no that's the one. This is a good one. C7. Firstly, your damage is, is... You're gonna get upgrade. You're gonna use this gun. Your, firstly, alpha upgrade from 320 to 400. That's very nice. Penetration upgrade. 226 is a decent one for the array vehicle. Not good for tank destroyer. Regular pen uh, penetration for heavy tank now. So it's gonna be okay because you are gonna be heavy tank, right? So yeah, having heavy tank penetration is normal. Um, still seven second reload, still three round with the magazine. Your whole clip reload is gonna get worse. So actually, you kind of do good damage because your in the clip reload is the same. Right, so that's very nice. You can turn 35 degrees to the left, 35 degrees to the right. It's a little bit better than the tier 7. Always, um, it's always better, right? You, it doesn't get worse, right? Always improvement. That's very nice. 10 degrees of penetration. That's very nice. Um, aim time accuracy. Overall, it's getting a little bit better. So, it should be okay, right? Overall, it's a little bit better. Overall stat and nearly a hundred more alpha so that i'll take that not that impressive but it's okay a hundred more hit point not double compared to this right so just a little bit more hit point and your turret is thicker your hull sorry your hull is thicker your turret is kind of the same so this means your turret might not be that strong compared to the enemy premium rounds anymore that might be the thing. So I have to check out this vehicle profile, armor profile next. Mobility wise, you are getting a little bit faster. 16 reverse speed is very nice. 35 top speed is okay. 14 specific power is better, but not that great. Traverse speed is kind of slow. So this vehicle is still going to be a very slow vehicle. Consumement is not there. And back to 360 view range.
Alright, I will take it. Not impressive at all because the Basotto already have 360. Now you play tier 8 with the same view range. A little bit disappointing to be honest. So that this tank, that's the the small vintage CC. Let's talk about the shell. This vehicle has 1147 standard shell velocity, which is very nice. And also 1386 premium shell velocity. Very, very nice. This is really the first tank that get very, very nice shell velocity. Five first. So this vehicle, wow, what a weird tank. What a weird tank. That round, it's like, it's like round curve hole there. That's pretty weird. And but the surprisingly, your capola is very small. So when you use your gun depression, it's not really 10 degrees of gun depression, isn't it? You just get 10 degrees right on the front, but then on the side is it's gonna go eight degrees. So you get like nine degrees overall. And if you use your gun depression and if you don't expose that part of the tank, you are very strong. So this vehicle, you really need to find the place for you to use gun depression. But then if the enemy start to load the premium round, that 260 impact armor start to fall apart. Hold down might help you, so you you still like the hold down still be still, uh, still going to be your best uh, strategy to fight the enemy. So yeah, you should hold down on this vehicle as well as a uh, tier seven. Nice. All right, equipment. What kind of equipment should I use on this vehicle? Um. Well, it's gonna be probably the same as the previous one. For me personally, improved rotation mechanism, vents, and optics. That's what I want to go for for this vehicle, um, with or without the food. And for you out there that don't really care about the view range, you can drop the optics and use maybe turbocharger or the improved rotation. Oh, sorry, or the improved hunting. This too. But I kind of feel like this vehicle playing on the hill is going to be a better choice. What is that? Look at that Mars. I think it's... Oh, I, I totally forget to try to research on 120mm. That accuracy is painful. What a weird armor. Wow, he's dead. How can how can they pen me? Those guys coming. I have to engage that thing. All right. Trust my armor. What is that thing? I'm strong. It's okay. It's not okay now. Kidding me? Kidding me again? Alright, shoot me again! He's reloading? Maybe face off we do.
we will sit here. Gotta sit in there. What? No! I thought I have 400! <laughs> I'm here. Oh, some blues! Man, I could kill both of them! <sighs> Alright, um, there's Movente CC 67. I, I, I think this workout is quite strong, but weak at the same time. To be honest, I don't even have the best setup yet, right? I can get even better armor. I can get even better gun. I can get even faster. I can turn even faster. And with this setup that I have right now, I can do that. I don't think this Waco is that bad. We'll play by this guy. They're they're fast. So yeah, um, there's the Movente CC sixty seven. Definitely a good tank so this is going to be different compared to the previous tier you know the previous tier is like a really a starter right the, your armor is start to be good but you still kind of possess the um, the the basotto weak things with your gigantic level plate right this tank this tank armor is solid it's very weird where um, what your armor pro profile is. You can't just really aim the low plate or upper plate. It's, uh, it's, it's a weird one. So it's actually make this work a little bit harder to go through with that complex kind of armor. It's not super strong, but it's kind of like a complex weird profile where you cannot really see how it weak or good um, in, the, in the certain period of time. So that's nice. The gun, I mean, I I don't actually use the best gun. So it's okay. It's got a penetration, it's gonna reload. Accuracy is horrible, but well, that's what it is. The speed is horrible for sure. But yeah, as we investigate this work of key feature is that strong armor. And it's got that, right? It's good being tough that's why it's a good tank so you can't go wrong with this Waco you don't need to skip this